What's up, you guys? How are you? Talk to me, send news, send comments below. Let me know how you're doing. Um, I'm here at home, self-quarantined, just like most of you out there. And I really wanted to jump on today and offer you some ideas on what to use for props at home in your yoga practice. So right now, most yoga studios or all yoga studios are closed. And um, I know at Ann Flow Yoga, we're offering um, online live streaming classes all day long. And um, some of the feedback and questions that I've gotten from our students is what could I be using in place of blocks, straps, bolsters, things like that. So I wanted to come on here and make a video for you all. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is a yoga mat. If you haven't practiced yoga before and because of all of the offerings online, you want to start to practice yoga, you don't have to worry about it, you don't have to freak out and go on Amazon and order a mat last minute, although it would be really cool if you did. Um, so you can really literally practice on your floor you'll probably see that some people do put out like a towel or a blanket underneath them and use that as a mat personally i don't love that because i do think that the yoga mat offers a lot of stability there's a certain amount of stickiness to a yoga mat so that you don't slip and during your practice the idea is to really focus on the breath focus on your practice and just really pull everything in so you don't want to be focused on the external right if you have a blanket under you and you're falling all over the place it's really not going to do you any good so i would personally recommend to just simply practice right on your the ground in your home whether it be carpet or hardwood floor tile is even okay um, the hardwood floor is going to be softer than the tile carpeting softer than hardwood right so it depends on you and what you feel more comfortable with I would also recommend to not wear any socks or gloves, especially if you're practicing directly on the ground. Um, your bare hands, your feet will offer you some stickiness. So if I like put my hand on the floor behind me, hardwood, I'm actually like sticking to the ground, which is great. That's what you want, right? So no socks, you don't wanna slip around in socks. Um, unless you're on carpet, maybe it would work then. Okay, so if that's what you really love, then do that on carpet okay so that's it for a yoga mat as far as blocks go i love 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 to use blocks in my practice um unfortunately at home if you don't have blocks um i would recommend to not really use um what i'm about to show you throughout the entire practice for example i use my blocks in all of my vinyasa flows and my down dog in almost every single pose um, right now at home, if you don't have blocks, I would say just go with the ground, get comfortable with that, and just allow yourself the opportunity to learn how to be in your practice without the blocks constantly being under your hands. Um, but for any balancing poses, you can bring a stack of books um, that will help you to bring the ground up closer to you, right? So you can lay your hand on the stack of books you can sit on a stack of books so for those who have like tighter hips for example i can put that there and just sit back right on those books and you notice already it gave me some height um another idea like i had this box in my house i don't really even know what it was but it was filled with other little boxes um so i use this for my standing balancing pose right and i'll show you i'm going to send you guys videos on um exactly these props that i'm showing you and the movements that would go along with them okay so i would balance on this this is a lot more stable than a stack of books because it's one object and if i have one leg up in the air and one hand on this box it's going to hold me up way better so this is a really really good idea um, another great idea is to be as close to a wall as possible. Um, I personally don't have a little bench at home, but if you have a little bench, that would be awesome too. You can just lean on the bench or like a folding chair, something like that. Um, so anything that's, that offers stability, right? So the wall is great. I actually love using the wall as a prop of mine. Sometimes when I'm in my bedroom, you guys, I'll even use my bed as a prop, 
right? Where I'll like put my hand on the bed or lengthen my leg over the bed and use that. So, you know, whatever you have, use it, right? Look around the house. You'd be surprised what you find. So those are your blocks. Um, as far as straps go, you could use a robe belt. I literally pulled this right off of my bathrobe. And this is an amazing strap, right? It's super long, just like a regular yoga strap. It doesn't have the buckle, but you don't really need the buckle at all. Um, so a robe belt, a regular belt that you would wear. Um, you could use a necktie. And the other one that I have here is a scarf. So usually scarves are really long and you could just open it up completely and it becomes your strap. So you could use that. Um, all right, so that's it for straps. And then as far as pillows go, I got a couch pillow or cushion. Um, there's this one, which is a little bit longer. This is like so, so great that I love the, the length on this um, so that you can kind of like lean your body over it. This actually really mimics the, um, the bolsters that we have in the studio. So you could use that or you can even use a regular pillow. And you guys, you can stack these on top of each other to make it as high as you need for your practice, right? So if you need to bring the ground way up, um, then do so and really stack your props. You can also take a blanket and roll it up really tightly. This is actually gonna offer a little bit more stability than the pillows will but you can roll this up and now you have a bolster here, right? Um, and another really cool thing about having the blanket, if it's all you have, I'm sure you have the pillows too, but um, in Shavasana, you can stick a pillow under your knees and lay back, relax, and cover yourself with the blanket. I've actually been telling all of my students that are practicing from home right now um, to bring a blanket to their practice so that they can cover themselves and get super, super cozy and comfortable and relaxed because the point of Shavasana is to really um, be in a deep, deep, beautiful rest and allow the body to rest. So you wanna get as comfortable as possible. And I think that's it, you guys. Those are the props. So we got the mat covered, blocks, straps, bolsters. I hope that this helps you. Please comment below. Let me know if it does. Let me know if you have any additional questions. And if you have any other ideas on props that we could use at home, please, please, please comment below. Let us know. This is a time for community to really come together, to share thoughts, get creative together and support each other. So I'm gonna thank you in advance and I look forward to seeing you guys. If you want access into my online live yoga classes, um, please send me a DM and I will be happy to get you all set up. Love you guys, I will talk to you soon. Mwah.